Welcome, I am Ms. J. Punita, Assistant Professor, Holy Cross College, Department of English, Trichy 10. I am here to explain about a nation strength which was written by William Ralph Emerson. We can see a few learning objects about a national strength, how the students will learn about it. The students will learn about how a nation is made by great noble men and they will use their understanding of figurative languages and to define and identify the metaphor and difficult vocabularies. And also they will learn the strength of nation lies not in the wealth, power and pride but in its patriotic and determined men. We can see few points about the author. William Ralph Emerson was born in March 11, 1833 and he was an American architect who was designed several first buildings for the National Zoo in Washington DC. And Emerson died on November 23, 1917 in Milton, Massachusetts. A few points about the poem structure. The poem has consists of six stanzas which have relatively and simply ABB, AB, AB rhyme scheme. And it is a beautiful patriotic poem which has tells which has and tells the meaning of strength of nation. And also the poet brings up several questions to discover the secret of the nation strength, nation strength and he himself answers these questions. We will go into the poem now. The first stanza, what makes a nation's pillars high and, and its foundation strong? What makes its mighty defeat? The po force that rounded thong. The poet makes several questions to clarify. He want to say in the very beginning he equates country to big building. And he puts a question to us that what are the things which make its pillar high and foundation very strong. And what are the things that can challenge its enemies who have crowded around the countries. We can see in the second stanza, it is not gold, its kingdoms grand, go down in battle shock. It saps that lie on the shocking sand, not an abiding rock. He says that it is not the gold that makes a country strong and the building which stands on weak foundation will fall down any time. And the foundation made on the basis of wealth is like that made on the sinking sand. It is not a, made it of durable rock and it may, it may fall any time, it may be defeated by its enemies any time. Coming to the third stanza, is it the sword? as the red dust of the emperors passed away. The blood has turned their stone to rust, their glory to decay. The poet suggests that to ask dust of the emperors which are no more now about the result of the fierce battles. The bloodshed which they shed for the countries is not there and weak and rust force I into decay. The glory of the powerful emperor never lasted for long. Coming to the fourth stanza, and is it pride? Ha, ah, that bright crown has seemed to nation sweet, but God has struck its luster down in ashes at his feet. The poet proceeds to say that the pride of the crown which is glittering on the head of the kings and queens will never make their nation powerful. But their pride had to be fallen down. Their glory had to fa fade away with the passage of time. And the kings whoever brings laurels, victories and success to the country will fail one day. But their glory was not because that glory was not permanent. Not gold, but only men can make. 
a people great and strong men who for truth and honor sake stand fast and suffer long he says that it is not the gold or wealth which brings the greatness and strength and power to the country only the people who stands with virtues humble and truth will brings the laurels and success to the country and who the people suffer long for these greatness to withstand with the virtues can make their country great and strong brave men who work while others sleep who dare while others fly they build the nations pillars deep and lift them to the sky these are the brave men who always alert and active and will be struggle for their country to bring the laurels who sacrifice their sleep for the safety and the security of the country and also who will be dare enough to the enemies to save their country and secure their country without running away from the enemies who make the pillars of the nation deep strong and take them high in the sky they provide strong foundation to the edible to the edifies of their nation here we can see few of the questions regarding the poem according to the poet what makes a nation strength powerful on god in the first stanza we can see that poet wonders about certain things and what are they and we can see that what are the foundation of strong kingdom built on and the fourth one can wealth make nation great and strong here we can see few of the references related to the poem thank you